sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know where Jericho is. Jericho. A place where androids are free. A place for deviants rise up against their creators. They transmit a piece of code to each other in order to find their sanctuary. Now you have the key. Ferndale Station is the door. I want to know who RA-9 is. RA-9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA-9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. I want to know how deviancy spreads. Androids share identification data when they meet another android. An error in this program would quickly spread like a virus and become an epidemic. The virus would remain dormant until an emotional shock occurs. Uh, fear, anger, frustration. And the android becomes deviant. Probably all started with one model. Copy error. A zero instead of a one. Plus, of course, uh, some kind of spontaneous mutation. That's all I know. An interesting question, Connor. But I doubt my answer would be very helpful to you. A war is coming. 
You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought... 